Hey there, this is Tyler from WTFX. Today we're looking at a lesser known but pretty cool distort. Let's dive in. CC Blobolize. The first time I heard about this effect, I pictured something, well... Obviously, I was way off, but what I did find was a pretty fun effect that I can't wait to use. Here we have some footage of fireworks. When we throw CC Blobolize on it, you can see that it shows us only the brightest parts of the frame and makes it look like we're watching the fireworks through water. The reason it's blobbing together the brightest parts of the clip is simply due to the property. Property is how the plugin figures out what to turn into a blob. The default is set to lightness, but when you click on the dropdown, you'll see the three color channels, red, green, and blue, followed by alpha, luminance, and lightness. Red, green, and blue blobolize the pixels within that color's channel. Alpha blobolizes anything within an alpha. This leaves luminance and lightness. Now, a lot of people aren't really sure of the difference between those two, and the difference can be pretty subtle. Luminance basically calculates the weighted average of the three color channels to make something close to how we perceive brightness. Lightness, on the other hand, is an average of the largest and smallest of the color channels, and if you're still having trouble understanding the difference, don't worry because you're certainly not alone. Simply go back and forth between the two and see which one you like better. What makes this effect even better is that you can use a control layer similar to the vector blur. The way you do this is by using the first dropdown in the blob layer settings. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll put some words on the screen. Select the firework footage and change the blob layer to the text layer. As you can see, the blob is cut out in the shape of the text, and when you play it, it looks like you're watching the fireworks fly around as if they're through glass. If you want to see the glass without losing any of the background, simply drag the background down from the project window, or you can duplicate the layer and simply delete the CC Blobolize plugin from the effects panel. Now getting back to the settings, softness and cutaway. The way I remember these is the higher you go with softness, the more rounded and softer the effect appears. The lower the number, the less round and more rigid it appears. Cutaway is the same. The higher the number, the more you're cutting away. The lower the number goes, the more you're keeping. From here, there are two more categories, light and shading. Twirl down light, we can see using gives us a dropdown. We can use After Effects' own lights, or we can use the light settings within the plugin. Light intensity is simply asking how much do you want the light to affect the blobolized area. When we turn it above 100, it gets pretty bright. When we turn it down, it looks like it's in shadow. We also have the option to change the color of the light simply by clicking on the eyedropper here and selecting a color from the screen, or clicking on this color swatch and selecting a specific color we make. Light type gives you the option of distant light or point light. Think of it this way, distant light works like it's moving closer to or further away from you, almost like it's in Z space, if you want to think of it three-dimensionally. The higher the number goes, the closer the light comes to you. The lower the number goes, the light goes away from you. Paired with this is light direction, which we really think should be changed to light rotation, because it spins the light around the object, as you can see from the highlights rotating around the outside of the word as we change it. Going back to light type, when we switch from distant light to point light, the light direction is now grayed out, but we gain light position. Light position is the X and Y coordinates of the placement of the light. Luckily, you can see where the light source is thanks to this circle. As you can see, when we adjust the X and Y coordinates, it moves accordingly. We can also place the light by clicking on the bullseye here and selecting anywhere in the comp. In shading, the first option is ambient. Ambient lighting is similar to the sun. It's light that's already there before any additional light is added. If we turn this down to zero, it looks as though the main light source has been turned off. Diffuse is a very soft light that comes from many different directions. We can see its reach when we keep ambient at zero and turn diffuse to 100. We're still able to light the scene, but not as powerfully as ambient, and it doesn't fully wrap around the object. Specular is the brightest of the brightest highlights. With ambient and diffuse turned down to zero, the only element we can see is that specular highlight. If we turn that down to zero, as you can see, everything is dark. Roughness simply allows more surface area to capture the light. When we turn the number up, that specular highlight then covers more of the surface area. This leaves metal. When turned to zero, this shows the true color of the light we selected earlier, whereas when it's set to its default 100, it blends that color with the image being pushed through blobolize as if changing its transfer mode. So whether you like the fun glass-like effect it can give text or pictures, or you're just now realizing all the fun T1000 effects you can create, I think there's one thing we all can agree on. When something needs a pointless improvement, blobolize it. Thanks for watching.
I am so sorry for what you just watched. See that big red subscribe button? Definitely don't click that and don't hit the bell icon either because doing either of those will let you know when we upload new content. And you see those two clips of the other videos that we made? You don't want to check those out either. Just steer clear of them. I mean, you, you just watch one of our videos. That's why. In fact, what you may even want to do is, is just shut down your computer. If you live near a canal or a river, maybe even take the computer and just throw it in one of them.